What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ernesto and my buddy Hulk over here, and we about to smash today's workout. Today's training is going to be on calisthenics, and we're going to be focusing on a one-arm pull-up and a little bit of handstand training. So I hope y'all ready for this. So before every workout, you always want to warm up properly for at least 10 to 15 minutes for this part, but I usually get on the Stairmaster for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I also do some mobility warm up. So what you're seeing here is some monkey bar swings. So I'm just trying to allow my body to loosen up a little bit just by swinging onto these bars. So it helps me prepare for the movements that I am about to perform. So my first workout here is to train for my one arm pull up, and that's one arm pull ups with resistance bands. So this is a very good workout when it comes to trying to get the movement pattern done. So I definitely would recommend doing this for a good amount of reps and also a good amount of rest. Next workout we have pike push-ups that are elevated with my feet on top of a bench and also a bosu ball. So the bosu ball gives it a more challenging feature because it allows more instability uh, with the feet and it causes you to rely on more strength to press up. So the handstand is a goal that I'm also trying to achieve and pike push-ups are also a great way to build strength in the shoulders. My ultimate goal would be to be able to do a handstand push-up with just my body weight because it's pretty awesome and lots of superheroes and anime characters do them so I have to do it. Next up we have the main strength builder and that is the one arm pull up negative repetition. So by doing this, this is a really great way to be able to do a one arm pull up as well as any other type of workout that you're trying to increase strength for. So negatives are an awesome way to build strength for any type of workout that you're trying to do because your body is able to handle a lot more load. Uh, in the negative portion of an exercise than the positive. So last but not least, we have the front lever that I just threw in there just for fun. So this is also another movement that I am trying to achieve because it looks so awesome and superhero-like and your boy is always trying to look like a superhero and also feel like a superhero. So as you can see, there are many progressions to achieve in this form and I have to start off with my knees tucked in and I was trying to tuck them out a little bit but as you see my hips weren't leveled and aligned with my shoulders so I had to drop my ego and tuck my knees a little bit more in so that I can elevate my hips more allowing them to be more parallel with my body and I tried to hold that for about 10 to 20 seconds just for a few sets and it was felt really good felt really good on my lats I really liked it so if you like the video make sure you like the video and also don't forget to subscribe I'll see you all later.